For demonstration purposes, I decided to grab the most colorful outfit out of my closet to share with you how I learned how to pair eyeshadows. You're going to need a transitional shade and also a crease color. I tend to go one to two shades lighter than my skin tone color for a transitional and one to two shades darker for the crease color. You're also going to need some lid colors. I save shimmers and glitters for that. Also, I like to use transitional colors for the outer corner colors, so these tend to bring a little more color to the look. And you're also going to need a brow bone highlight. And of course, you're going to need that darker color for the outer corner. Now if I were to use a palette, I would use light brown for the transitional shade, cool gray would go on the crease, I'd use rose or mocha for the lid because of course it's shimmery and it highlights that lid. And also for a transitional shade, I'd use plum or charcoal and then of course black to deepen the look and give dimension. So getting started, I'm taking my Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie with a blending brush and I'm just going to apply this above the crease and into the crease. Like I said, this helped blend out all of the darker shades. You're also going to take Cocoa Bear or whatever darker color that you'd like on another blending brush and define that crease out. Then I'm going to take Vanilla Bean for a brow bone highlight and excuse the brow hairs, I know I need to pluck and shape those things up. And then for the lid, of course, my shimmers or my glitters, I like to use that to highlight it. So I'm taking it on a short shader brush and I'm just packing this onto the lid. And if you wanna learn how I blend out my eyeshadows, I have that video in my Technique playlist. I'll link it all down below so you can check it out. Also for another tip, you can take a setting spray or a MAC Fix Plus. You can spray your brush with the eyeshadow on it and pack it on and it's going to give you a more metallic feel to it and it's going to make the shadows more vibrant. For the transitional shade, I'm taking a darker brown color, it's called Mocha from Makeup Geek, on a stiff blending brush and I'm applying this on the outer corner to get it ready for that darker shade right there, black. And on a pencil brush it goes and I'm going to follow that outer corner. So I'm just going to make a V sideways and then blend it out with a clean blending brush. I think the most important part about pairing eyeshadows is making sure that you have the right texture and color combination. Once you learn all of that, you're pretty much set. I like to make sure that I stick to four different colors first. After that, you just add and add and add. Just build it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any tips or techniques for me, leave them down in the comment box down below. I will definitely be reading them and trying them all out. Thank you guys for taking time to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure that you are subscribed for new videos weekly and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!